in these uh, the next section I want to cover I already covered cloth in the biped one that's just prepping biped for the cloth sand are the constraint and controllers uh, scripts now these are really really self explanatory as far as what they do <laughs> but I did want to actually put them here they're, they're just a, a quicker way to put controllers on objects so you don't have to go in and you know click on you know add controller chain blah 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 I just it's just easier to do it this way so what I want to do is I want to take you through uh, just an idea of what they do for example add attachment controller so I can select my object double click on this or whatever and then I'm, what I'm doing is I'm rubber banding to the object that I want to attach it to do a surface attachment so I click on the sphere and you can see I get this dialog and it says click and drag a point on the surface of the target mesh okay continue so now I can click and drag and then when I get it where I want it I just let go and it's got an attachment controller on it now so if I you know whatever I do it's gonna stay uh, on that face like so that's it that's how it works uh, add link constraint uh, and target pretty like I said self-explanatory let's just create some points here for working with here all right blah blah blah, blah. okay random points so add link constraint and target oh that's the wrong one okay I just realized what I'm doing here okay so turn the auto key on now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one and go up this one and go down and this one and go diagonally okay now here's the cool part <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this right link constraint add target okay so do that so now you can see it's now attached to that so I'll come here and I'll click it again but this time I'll pick this object okay so now it's you can see that it is now changed to that object and I'll come here run it again and I'll click on this object now it's gonna go this way so if I go to the motion panel and take a look at that you can see that uh, you know when it if, if it already has the controller then what it does is it adds the next target to the list and at the time that you did it real quick easy way to use that tool uh, before I wrote this script I hardly ever used it because it was just a pain uh, but then it became easy to use go figure uh, look at and up node target kinda like the way the bones work I can click this and say okay I want to add a look at controller but I also want to pick an up node so now um, if I do it like this you'll see that that is now got an up node using this as up node and this as the look at okay just like I said making things easier and quicker to do right if I want I can just add a look at controller or a look at controller with a vector like so okay if I run it again and pick another object you can see that it is now looking at both of them and showing you where the vector is if I add another object like so oh I had the wrong one selected sorry we'll do that and pick this one and you can see now that I completely messed it up somehow okay well let's do <laughs> let's do that again okay I think I because I grabbed that one object by accident all right like so oh because I had this selected all right now I understand what's going on all right now do it again I was clicking too fast is basically it so now you can see you know this is now looking at all three of these objects you know it shows the wireframe of the, each one of these is the wireframe of the target it's looking at uh, it's just a max thing so if I change this to purple or whatever you can see uh, that it's showing all three of the look at plus the blue which is the actual you know look at that it's averaging between all three real simple script all it's doing all I put it there for is to save time so you'd have to you know click it add controller blah 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 this just makes things quicker same thing with add orientation constraint no offset all it does is it adds an orientation constraint so if, say if I rotate this and I rotate this I can double click that and say there so now 
it's now rotation constrained to that if I click another object then it adds it to the list so it's now in between those two okay all right just giving you an idea of how this works uh, if I have a spline I can take an object put a path controller on it boom now it's you know on that path um, and the rest work exactly the way you would expect them to. Um, position, position and orientation constraint, no offset. Uh, add position and rotation list uh, for animation. So let's say I've got this here, and I go to my motion panel. Posi oops, got my position and rotation, and you can see here they're just Euler and uh, yeah Euler and position X Y Zs. If I double click this, what what it's <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Uh, I will double click on this and you'll see now that it's going to add a base layer for animation that you shouldn't animate and then the animatable one so you can always go back to that okay um, you can also I have it so you can only add uh, position or you can only add uh, rotation um, and if you have something with a look at controller on it already, you can just use this to pick just the up node for it. Uh, so that's it for the constraints and controllers. Um, more to come.